And that was before I heard it. Because it was, it's always Asher. <laughs> Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we are so excited for our 2019-2020 Theater Awards. Happy Cinco de Mayo, also. Um, really in the cost of the background you guys have brought. I, I joined, too. I have my skull shirt on, and I also have my skull leggings on. Very excited about both of those things. Horton is just in a Grand View t-shirt. No, it is a theater I'm sorry, and best I guess best concert. Boom. <laughs> um, so obviously, uh, I hope you guys all know that I'm Molly Mokler. I am your director. I put this together. I am. I put way too much work and effort into this because I'm bored in quarantine. <laughs> so here it is. I, I did want to lay down a couple ground rules because we're doing this on Zoom, which while most of the theaters have done some sort of Zoom uh, before, it's a little bit different because we're working on um, an online platform. Uh, so a couple things I wanted to go over first is uh, please, please keep yourself muted unless you have, unless you win something, which we'll go over in a moment. Um, if you are having technical oh, troubles, sorry, that would be my little boy. <laughs> Uh, please give me with the boy running around. Um, if you're having technical troubles, uh, feel free to make a comment in the chat. Uh, Mr. Horton is monitoring the chat and he's letting that, letting you guys know. Feel free to congratulate each other in the chat. Feel free to compliment each other in the chat. Please don't manipulate the chat just for your own side conversations. You're welcome to have a private conversation or text a person. I don't care. Uh, but don't manipulate the full group chat just to let two people know of each other. I love you guys. I don't mind it when it's the whole Zoom thing, but I also want to talk about silent applause really quick. Does anybody know what a silent applause looks like? Yeah, a bunch of you know. So we're going to practice our silent applause uh, for this. So when I announce the winners, uh, you guys can all do the silent applause for each other. Um, yeah, comments are open. We're ready to go. He's monitoring. He's responding. Downstairs. Cool. Um, um, that would be Victor. So I figured we would start off by reliving the these here. So hope this video is working. You can hear them. I did set it up so you sh you really should be able to hear. for you guys awesome good 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 okay so that was our hairspray video obviously um now we're going to do our thescon video 
Being part of GHS Theater has a lot of upsides. Not only do we get to put on wonderful productions, they also get the opportunity to go and meet other schools and theater geeks at Missouri State Thespian Conference, better known as Thescon. What is Thescon? Thescon is the Missouri State Thespian Conference. It happens once a year, every January. And we take a group of students to a conference for about three days. For the past two years, it's been in Kansas City. Next year, it'll be in St. Louis. What were some of the workshops that you attended? Um, I went to a lot of 1X, and I got to see other schools perform different plays. I attended some that were on uh, portfolio building and stage management to try to help students get introduced into the world of uh, tech theater. How did this experience benefit you? Um, I think it was really cool to see other schools there and I think it was really nice to um, get to meet new people and have fun. It benefited me by showing me how the schools do like certain things and how the tech, like so since I'm a techie, I saw many tech elements of the shows. Well, I think it's less of a benefit for me and more of a huge benefit for the students. They're able to offer education at Thescon that I cannot personally offer to students. So they can go into depth on things I don't have an expertise in, like stage fighting or circus tricks that I don't necessarily know how to do on point, but they bring in experts from all over the country to teach students how to do that. Learning about how to help students build portfolios and get recruited for colleges was uh, invaluable to me. What advice would you give to someone interested in this trip next year? Uh, talk to the seniors who've been there, be involved in the theater community. Well, I really recommend it. I think it's incredibly fun. The students learn so much and they grow so much both individually and as a troop. It was a lot of fun. You get to hang out with teachers and the troop, and you get to know them more better. It's just a lot of fun, and it's a chance where you can really be yourself, learn a little bit more about being on stage, being backstage, carpentry, makeup, hair stuff, costuming, sound, lighting, like anything involved in putting a stage performance on, there's benefits. And you get to see a couple free shows and get to know some of your fellow students and teachers a little bit better. It's a good time. Who are we? feeling nostalgic yet? Ah, my heart. And then we have final video. I don't think this one, the other two you've seen before, um, but this is one that Zinc made. Actually, almost immediately after we went into quarantine, Zinc put this together, um, I think because she misses us. So, go. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad. I'll 
make you miss school so much. <clears throat> I don't know what will. Okay, so let me introduce to you your 2019-2020 uh, theater cabinet. So first of all, we've got our page, our patients, <laughs> our patients, the president. <laughs> we've got our vice president, Sydney Walker. We've got our secretary, Lalez. We've got our treasurer, Luke Foster. We've got our historians, Tristan Link and Sierra Zink. I don't see, remember getting a picture from Tristan sometimes. Possible that she sent it to me, and I, <laughs> yeah, based on her face, I forgot it. Sorry. <laughs> um, they, I, I do want to say a little word on the cabinet. I, they have done so much this year, and I am so grateful to them. Um, because I came to them at the beginning of this year, and I was like, we're gonna do more with the cabinet, and we sort of kind of did, <laughs> but they have really, really kicked into gear, especially with quarantine. That has been so hard, hard on so many different kids that they really come through and really um, help facilitate and really help lead uh, this group. Um, they were instrumental in these awards turning out the way that they did, and so I really appreciate them. Uh, all right, let's meet the directors. Here we go. That's me. I think I run stuff. I am the Mokler. This is Horton. Horton also thinks he runs stuff. <laughs> This is Montoya, who makes us all look really, really, really good. <laughs> and this is Ian, or Young, or Ian Young, and he actually runs all the stuff. <laughs> so, we love them all. Uh, so, now is the part where we get to go over nominees and winners. So, let me tell you how this is going to go. Uh, I am going to read out who the nominees are, and then Mr. Horton, who's sitting next to me, is going to do a drum roll with actual drumsticks <laughs> that he has, because <laughs> we're extra. Uh, so I'll flip over and I'll read it out loud. Now, uh, tradition states that the winners get a seven-word speech. Awesome. So tradition states that winners get a seven word speech. It is literally seven words. We will cut you off. So the rule is that if you are the winner, you have to unmute yourself because it's much more looking for unmute you. So if you don't know how to do that, if you hover over your um, name with the cursor, it should, uh, or not your name, your face, uh, or I guess your name if you don't have your video turned on. Um, and there's a little dot, dot in the corner if you press on it, or, or it says mute right there, just kidding. Um, so you can mute yourself or unmute yourself right there. Uh, so unmute yourself if you win and give us your seven word speech. We all will be counting you because that is what we do here. Articles and ums count. Oh yeah, articles and ums count. So are there any questions on the chat before we started? It's just getting roasted, so we're cool. Seems about right. All right, here we go. <laughs> also, I switched up the order a little bit this year, uh, so we'll have some fun with the order. All right, our categories for best student leader, we have Miss Jaden Brooks for a choreographer for Hairspray. We have Shayla Legs, assistant choreographer for Hairspray. We have Noah Dang student director for 12th night or T jones student director for 12th night and the winner is jaden brooks choreography jaden, go ahead and unmute yourself and give us your seven words you guys can finally dance love you <laughs> Love it. That was the weakest drum roll. I, you don't have an actual snare drum. Yeah, I'm drumming so, on the table. Like, what do you expect, Camille? Can you guys hear drum roll? He, he, he's getting really into this. I'll get my drum pad. It's fine. There we go. This is your fault. I just want you to know. Check in on our set. Come here, Victor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No. He walked halfway across the floor to tell me no. Come here. You want to say hi to the student? Fresh. What's on? What are you wearing tonight? What are those? Jammies. Your jammies? Yeah. What kind of jammies are they? Christmas ones. Our Christmas jammies. Do you know what it is? I wolf. That means wolf. That means wolf. Cool. Yep. It's May. Got a better drum roll? It's a practice pad, so they're just going to have to be satisfied with it. Fine. Okay. All right. Go play. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So our nominee is for. <laughs> Sid Taylor has his pajamas on her. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, all right, best newcomer techie. Our nominees are Abigail Cunningham, Carolina Vargas, Kia Thompson, Jet Robertson, Lexi o Okoye. Okoye, thank you, Emma Lewis, Zoe Bybee, Tia Thornton, Noah Dangle, and Taylor Jones. And the winner is. Abigail Cunningham. Is she here? Yeah, she's on. All right, girl, unmute yourself. Let's get your. Thank you. Um. Yeah. That. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I want you guys to know that it took some getting to find this picture of her. Turns out we're backstage in the booth all the time. Nobody has any pictures of you. Because we're all working every second. Yeah. All right. We've got Best Newcomer Actors next. So our nominees are Ray Herter, Joshua Walker, Jacob Berkeley, Roel Yaniguez, Mia Saracola, Fatima Bertado, Trinity Hyatt, Brittany Long, Tavon Tony. Ariana Nelson, Yuliana, Yulena, I'll get it one day, Sydney Hepworth, Abigail Pearsall, and Mina Taylor. And the winner is... It's a tie! It was actually a three-way tie, and I'm not even making that up. <laughs> So our no particular order of our three winners, you each get your seven words. Our first winner is Roel Yaniguez for Fender. Roel. Um, <laughs> thank you for voting. Yes. <laughs> Winner number two is Tave Tony, who played two roles, both in the ensemble of uh, Motor Mouse Ensemble and for, I don't remember what role, Valentine, uh, in Twelfth Night. You can <laughs> Wow. All right. I love you guys. Oh. I, I love her. Nope, you're done. I muted him. <laughs> we love you too. And Mina Taylor. Thank you. I love everyone. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to get two photos or being me. It's just how it worked out. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. For our next category. By the way, guys, if you're not, you might want to take photos of some of these. Uh, I will post all of this. I will bring your certificate to you. But if you're like, I don't remember what I won, but I know what I won. Like, I, mm, we'll figure it out. Yeah, screenshot it. I don't know. So our uh, for most improved techie, this is actually a write-in. Uh, so don't put any up on the screen. Um, this is students go in and write the names of the people that they think win it. Uh, so our winner for most improved techies.
Zoe Bybee. Thank you. And I love you guys. That was a. Most amusing. I was trying to find. <laughs> uh, I believe we have another one for most improved techie. Jet Robertson. Love the speech. Much love. We wouldn't hear you. you. Say something. I don't have a speech, but much love. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Have our most actor award. This also is not, um, this is also a write-in. So students write in the names of the people they think are the most deserving of this particular award. And the winners are... Actor <laughs> Dangle. Thank you. You guys trying to figure out how to unmute? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was not prepared. Thank you all. That was eight, too. Eight. <laughs> we also have a second, Joshua Walker. Oh my god. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that picture is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun picking these pictures, you guys. Okay, our next category is Best Techie for a Play. We've got a lot of nominees here, so bear with me. Uh, uh, Abigail Cunningham as Assistant Stage Manager. The play, by the way, is Twelfth Night, just in case you haven't figured that out part. Yeah, yeah, so. But we did that this year. Abigail Cunningham as Stage Manager. Sierra Zink, Assistant Stage Manager. Emma Lewis, Sound Crew. Tristan Little, Light and Sound Crew. Marshall West, Props Crew. Emma Johnson, Props Crew. Lena Hubbard, Costumes Crew. Kaya Mackey, Hair and Makeup Crew. Sydney Taylor, Hair and Makeup Crew. Gabby Sims, Stage Crew. Zoe Bybee, Stage Crew. Jaja Williams, Stage Crew. Noah Dangle, Stage Crew. Mark Bandy, Stage Crew. And Sam Chase, Stage Crew. And the winner is... Are we by the stage crew. Uh, thank you again. Yeah. I don't I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you, Zoe. The second one, Abigail Cunningham. Thanks again. I needed more time to think. That's eight. Dang it. That was 10. 10. That's eight. That's, That's two. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she's this one right here. Also very difficult finding photos of her. <laughs> All right. Our nominees for best tech lead for a play are Jeff Robertson as stage manager, Eric Nelson and Taylor Jones for costume designers, um, Anaya Woods as Properties Manager, Shayla Legs as Head Carpenter, Abigail Cunningham as Chef Sound Engineer, Christine Rainey, Lighting, Trizelle Curry for Hair and Makeup Lead, and the winner is... Chet Robertson, State Manager. I still love you guys, but stop voting for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I do this so I'm not seen by people. 
people. Knock it off. All fun fact, there's Jet playing with Play-Doh. All right, our nominees for Best Song in a Play are The Basement Freestyle by Shayla Legs, Patience Blue, and Joshua Walk. Robin by Shayla Legs, The Wind in the Rain by Shayla Legs and Noah Dangle, and Black Cypress by Shayla Legs and Noah Dangle. And the winners and are... Basement Freestyle, Shayla Legs, Patience Kalu, and Joshua Walker. You can pick one of you to uh, give seven words, or you can split it up amongst yourselves. Hmm. I think Patience should do it. All right, Patience, you get one word. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was a comment from Tavon. I like how legs was no matter what. I like that too, because legs did a lot of work, you guys. <laughs> rigged, I'm sorry. Can't attest to that. <laughs> it's not rigged if you did all the work. <laughs> uh, rigged by William Shakespeare. <clears throat> sure, we'll go with that. Um, for best walk on in a play, our nominees are Abigail Pearsall as the captain, the student, and the administrator, Samantha Overman as Beatrice and student and administrator, Ray Turner as student and administrator, Sydney Hepworth as student, Mark Wambandi as student, JJ Williams as dancer, and Noah Cole as student. And the winner is. That, that was it. It's a tie again! Two for this time. Our first winner, Samantha Overman as Beatrice, student and administrator. Is she here? I have not seen her come on yet. Well, we'll give her one more round of applause. And our other winner is... Abigail Pearsall, Captain, Student, and Administrator. Pearsall, unmute. But you both keep hitting it. There we go. Thank you, me, for being good actress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are you okay? You good, dude? I mean, I was just worried about your head. You good? My son just fell. Yeah. Like, he does that like 20 times a day, so he's good. All right, you get up. Okay. So, <laughs> moving right along. Best supporting actress in a play, or actor in a play. Our nominees are Tony as Valentine, Brian Wyckoff as Curio, and Asher Dangle as Sebastian. And the winner is... Asher Dangle, Sebastian. I should really start thinking ahead. <laughs> <laughs> goodness. Our next category is Best Supporting Actress in a Play. Our nominees include Adrian Hepworth as Maria, Shayla Legs as Festy, Sully Sullivan as Fabian, and Mina Taylor as Antonia. And the winner is... Shayla Legs, Festy. <laughs> Thank you, Abby Clownin. She left it there. She, she muted. She's good. Oh, all right. She oh. muted. Um, 
There is a uh, conspiracy theory that uh, Anastasia thinks Mokler mutes the drum rolls. I can assure you she does not. True, I don't. I'm like leaning over because they're driving me nuts. I don't, I'm not muting myself at all. The rolls literally right here, right off camera. Oh, okay, we're continuing on. Sorry, Victor's stealing attention again. Uh, our category, our nominees for best lead actor in a play include Luke Foster for Orsino, Joshua Walker for Andrew Aguecheek, and Samantha Lambert for Malvolio. And the winner is. Samantha Lambert, Malvolio. Birds work for the bourgeoisie. Thank you. lead actress in a play. Our nominees are Sydney Walker as Viola, Anastasia as Aaliyah, and Patience Kalu as Toby Belch. And the winner is... I'll tell you guys, this one was really, really close. Sydney Walker as Viola. I thought Patience had it, but thank you. <laughs> That was eight, Walker. Who's saying really, except for all of us? <laughs> all right, moving to our musical category. We've got best techie musical. The nominees include Abigail Cunningham as assistant stage manager, Carolina Vargas as assistant stage manager, Sierra Zink as assistant stage manager, Christina Rainey as lights, India Tom. Thompson as sound crew, Alicia Stowe as sound crew, Angel Gauss as spotlight, Brayden Shelton as stage crew, Gabby Sims as stage crew, Lexi Okoye, Okoye as stage crew, Jaja Williams as stage crew, Faith Lee as stage crew, and Tia Thornton as stage crew. And the winner is... Oh, sorry. Hi. Abigail Cunningham as assistant stage manager. And out of pictures, guys. <laughs> Please stop voting for me, but thanks. <laughs> There's a second one for this one as well. Um, so it's tie someone let multiple people win uh, because the techies do so much work that they absolutely deserve to have multiple winners. And our other winner is Deja Williams, stage crew. Is Deja here? I believe so. I've never won anything in my life. <laughs> Checks out. Checks out. <laughs> I know! He challenged me. He was like, you can find a picture of me. <laughs> All right, best tech lead for a musical. Our nominees are Shayla Legs as stage manager, Marshall West as costume head, Anna Woods as properties manager, Jet Robertson as head carpenter, Carla Menjavar and Sheree Parham as sound head, Christina Rainey and Anna Mott as lighting head, and Frizzell Curry as makeup head. And the winner is... Shayla Legs, stage manager. I cried show night, but it rocked. <laughs> <laughs> the rite of passage That's... to cry <laughs> for a show. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, so, whoops. Best character song in a musical. Our nominees are Good Morning Baltimore from by Tristan Little as Trace E. 
Cookies. The nicest in town, Luke Foster as Corny. Miss Baltimore Crabs, Ray Turner as Velma Von Tussle. I Can Hear the Bells, Tristan Little as Tracy. It Takes Two, Noah Dangle as Lee Larkin. Run into that, Sam Ace as Seaweed Stubbs. Big Blonde and Beautiful, Taylor Jones as Motormouth Mabel. Timeless to Me, Amantha Lambert and Asher Dangle as uh, Edna and Will. I Know Where I've Been, Taylor Jones, Motormouth Mabel. It's Hairspray, Luke Foster as Corny Collins. And Cooties, Sydney Walker as Amber Von Tussle. And the winner is... Luke Foster with the nicest kids in town. Thanks for the votes. I appreciate it. Look at that gorgeous picture, too. Mm. And then this is a new category this year, as was Best Character Song in a Musical. So Best Ensemble Song in a Musical. Uh, uh, and then these are Good Morning Baltimore, Welcome to the 60s, The Big Doll House, Without Love, and You Can't Stop the Beat. I will tell you, this one was super close. This came to a single vote. And the winner is Without Love. Everyone Win. Yeah, I didn't even print a certificate for this one. Like, all you win. Anybody want to jump in? Give us seven words. Oh, gosh. We I all did. It, but thanks. Cool. Awesome. That was a lot of ones. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do this one. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> Since we're talking best song, um, you are all winners. Now stop hating. Right. our next category is best ensemble in a musical. Our ensemble choices were the Corny Collins Kids, Motor House Ensemble, Big House Ladies, The Dynamites, and the Pinkies Girls slash Moms slash Hookers, which is <laughs> hilarious that they're all in one category. And the winner is, winners are, the Corny Collins Kids. All right, Corny Collins kids, how you want to divvy up your seven words? Corny, go! Could it have got on top without the kids? Okay. <laughs> so, the Corny Collins kids, by the way, include, can't read, Noah Dangle, Sydney Walker, Brian Wyckoff, Luke Foster, Jaden Brooks, Trinity Hyatt, Roel Uniguez, Mia Saracola, Fatima Bratado, Sully Sullivan, and Abigail Pearsall. Our next category is Best Walk and Actress in a Musical. Uh, our nominees are Emma Lewis as Pretty Pingleton, Patience Kalu as The Matron, Sully Sullivan as Tammy, Mia Saracola as Brenda, Fatima Pato as Sketch, Abigail Pearsall as Shelley, Trinity Hyatt as IQ, Jaden Brooks as Luann, and Sydney Taylor as Beatnik Chick. And the winner is Patience Kalu as the Matron. Aw, y'all are so sweet. Thank y'all. <laughs> Our next category is best supporting or walk on actor in a musical. I combined this into two categories because we didn't have enough dudes. <laughs> so our nominees include Asher Dangle as Wilbur Turnblad, Joshua Walker as Mr. Pinky, and Harriman F. Spritzer and the guard, Jacob Berkeley as the gym teacher and principal, Ryan Wyckoff as Brad, and Fender as Roel Yaniguez. You switched those. Oh, I did? Roel as Fender. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. I made a lot of slides, you <laughs> Winner is... Mr. Dangle as Wilbur Turnblad. I got nothing this time. Thank you. 
Oh, you're done. Yeah. You're done. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> Uh, our next category is Best Supporting Actress in a Musical. The nominees are Adrian Hepworth as Penny Pingleton, Ray Turner as Velma Von Tussel, Sydney Walker as Amber Von Tussel, and Hepburn as Little Inez. And the winner is... Adrian Hepworth as Penny Lou Pingleton. Oh my gosh. My first win ever. <laughs> Our next category is best lead actor in a musical. The nominees are Luke Foster as Tony Collins or Courtney Collins, depending on who you are. <laughs> Noah Dangle as Link Larkin, and Sam Chase as Seaweed Stubbs. And the winner is... Sam Chase as Seaweed J. Stubbs. Um, Luke and Noah did good, too. I love it. More than that. <laughs> That's cute. Our next category is Best Lead Actress in a Musical. The nominees are Tristan Little as Tracy Turnblad, Samantha Lambert as Edna Turnblad, and Taylor Jones as Motormouth Maybell. And the winner is... Taylor Jones as Motormouth Maybell. Thank you all for caring about me, period. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So we've got a couple uh, final categories. These are new this year. Uh, so our two final ones are new uh, nominees, and it was very fun doing this. So this is our best recovery on stage. So this is something that happens on stage stage that's unpredictable. Our actors are most trained on how to fix unpredictable situations, but sometimes it's just friggin' hilarious. So I had students write in um, and tell various stories of different recoveries that happened. Uh, so before we get to our winner, I do want to throw out a couple honorable mentions, and I'm going to tell these stories. Uh, so our first honorable mention is Sully and Joshua. Uh, they had come on stage and either some stories varied whether they had come on too early somebody had missed a cue but first of all Sully turns around sticks her head against the wall and acts like she's drinking water from that drinking fountain and she actually made the noise of a drinking fountain so somebody later asked me they were like wow Cunningham was really on top of it with that drinking fountain sound effect nope Sully just made noise with her mouth <laughs> and Josh improved a bunch of stuff in Shakespeare land. And then he said, oh, I'm missing Mr. Turn something's class for nothing. <laughs> walked out. Uh, so that was honorable mention number one. Honorable mention number two is Samantha Lambert, who twice uh, during, uh, or two different nights during uh, Welcome to the 60s, her mic pack fell off during the scene change or costume change and so she had to do the remaining portion of welcome to the 60s which is quite a lot of dancing holding on to her mic pack but also not making it visible <laughs> so she's our honorable mention for two final honorable mention is number three is trinity hyatt whose blood sugar dangerously dropped and we had to actually pull her off stage in order to feed her some sugar that was pretty intense After her winner, however, is Tavon Tony. Who? <laughs> Let me tell you this story. Uh, so an actor had Mr. Q and Tavon's only scene partner. So he came on stage entirely by himself in this locker room, and he kind of stood around for a minute, 
made up a couple Shakespeare lines, y'all. Improving Shakespeare is not easy. And then he started to do push up <laughs> on stage. And we all sat there wondering, how long is he gonna have to do these push ups for? And when his scene partner came in on stage, he had done like maybe three push ups. He looks at her and goes, 100. Oh. So that is our winner for best recovery on stage. You got seven words for us, Tavon? Sydney, I love and hate you. <laughs> All right, and then our other one is funniest moment backstage or during rehearsal. Uh, so this one also had writing category, students wrote in their favorites. Um, there were some lovely honorable mentions. So, and I actually learned a lot about backstage while I was reading this. Plenty of things happening that I was aware of. Uh, so the first one was backstage, dancing backstage to Jolly Robin. Apparently while Legs was doing her job Jolly Robin scene, y'all would just like, lose it backstage which i find hilarious um also there was this hilarious moment and i wish i had the print out in front of me of somebody describing this but apparently um samantha had been called out for, for mic check and there like she was told that she could go back and then somebody had to run back go get her and um, this is the quote was, and when she realized she had to go back on stage, Samantha, quote, went full on Chewbacca. I don't know what that means, but I was so entertained reading this. Um, one of my personal favorites of the year was the, it's not blank if you have your song. No. <laughs> no. Which took up a full 10 minutes of rehearsal while we argued about it. No. Oh man, so we also apparently during uh, Without Love, um, the entire cast would be backstage just dancing their brains out. There was like even a dance that somebody made up that like the first night it was a couple people doing it, but the final night everybody was just like going for it in the hallway. Uh, Jet had a lovely moment during intermission that he was like, we will now be intermission. Oh, wait. <laughs> and then just got off the mic. <laughs> and everybody heard it. And let him intermittent after that. Uh, there was also the time we hung Ian's hat from the light bar. And he didn't notice for forever. Uh, and then somebody threw this out. And I thought it was a really point. Um, the stage broke right before opening night. Uh, so we have this giant rotating stage that is incredibly heavy. And it just, it unattached from its point on stage. And so we spent about an hour. Yeah, because we had to open the house. Yeah, like mm -hmm. running around frantically, like lifting the stage. And like, I'm crawling underneath the stage to try to get it fixed. And we got it fixed. And we really came together as a casting crew. Um, however, there was one that, event that stood out above the rest. So our winner is... Sam Chase. In honor of this, Mr. Young is going to tell the story of why Sam Chase deserves this award. Well, probably one of my favorite stories, but in the confetti was supposed to be shot all over the stage for the final scene in Hairspray. We decided that Sam was going to do it at the last minute. Who had never practiced it before. And he was frantic, it was opening, so he was trying to do it. So we couldn't figure out how to get it to him either. So I can't remember who actually handed it to him, but it was a late handoff. He grabbed it, held it like this, flipped it around, flipped it around and then shot it straight into his junk. And no one, uh, like in front of the audience could see the confetti because all they saw was a little sploosh but the tech and the crew got to see it hit him and then shoot confetti all over him all we fell down on the ground laughing so hard then he gets up and then actually finishes the scene which is impressive so yes that was probably my favorite 
time now. Sam, <laughs> do you have seven words for us? I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> I have to say, from my perspective as an audience member, I was super confused because all of a sudden this confetti was supposed to come out of the top of the hairspray can and it all <laughs> shot out from underneath the hairspray can. It's like, what the world happened back there? Oh, oh goodness. The yeah, that was quite entertaining. So that is all of our awards. Let's do one last um, silent round of applause for everybody. <laughs> so proud of you all. Uh, so, so, so very proud of you all. Uh, we also, we want to start looking towards the future. So I do want to just say a really quick word that, like, I'm really, really proud of all the um, accomplishments you guys did this year like we have taken this program so very far which means I, I can't even imagine what the future holds for us that you guys you truly deserve this, these awards and if I could I would give each and every single one of you an award because you, you, you truly deserve it you're beautiful um so moving right along we have our cappies inductions for the 2020-2021 school year um which I'm going to turn over to Samantha Lambert who is our cappies lead hello um so you all probably know this, but Cappies is our student critics, critics that come and see the show and review, write reviews for us. And at the end of the year, a gala where they vote for who gets what awards. There's a bunch of them. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be online this year anyway. Uh, and some of our current Cappies, including our lead critic, Sydney Walker, are not joining us this year or they're graduating or whatever, and I've taken the position of Cappy's lead. So we need a new team, and it's been my job to recruit our new Cappies. So the following names are making up the Grandview Cappies team for the 2020-2021 school year. Emma Lewis, Alicia Stowe, Marcel West, Ariana Nelson, and Anastasia Coburn. Congratulations, you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a good crew. We're really looking forward to it. Um, just a side note in case uh, some folks didn't know, Sydney Walker just put this in the chats. Um, every single review that Samantha Lambert wrote this year got published. Oh. Like, I don't know if you guys know, that's a huge deal. A huge deal. Congratulations. I, I will say this for the Cappies too, that they had an unfortunate season in that it cut off, as it cut off two thirds of the way through. So Cappies weren't able to see their last couple shows, which has created a really controversial um, series of choices in the Cappies leadership. Um, I'm so proud of our Cappies uh, and the effort and the work that they put in. I'm sorry that you didn't get a full year, especially the seniors. I'm so sorry you didn't get a full year. Um, I am really looking forward to the 2020-2021 school year and the Cappies Awards. We will find out, I think, on Friday, by the way, uh, if our school got any uh, Cappies nominations. So you'll be hearing from me on that. Uh, our next slide, it was going to be the 2020 inductions. Um, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, because I can't get into the school and certain work that I need, we can't do the 2020 inductions yet. I'm wondering if maybe we can get them, I can get them all submitted by the end of the year, and then maybe we can start the year off, we do our picnic next year, we can start off by doing an induction ceremony where I would hand you um, their certificate and the if there's a pin you get as well. Um, so I'm sorry that I can't induct everybody right now. Uh, seniors, if you wanna be inducted, if, you're, if you have not been inducted yet, please uh, contact me so I can make sure that I get your cords. Uh, okay, so we have our, we're moving right along, we have our IT officer elections. I will let you know that every single category for the officer elections was really close. Um, this was an extremely close race. We have an incredible bunch of students who want to participate in leadership. Um, so with no further ado, uh, we're not going to do speeches for this. I'm just going to kind of announce it and we can silent applause. Um, and officers will have a meeting later this week with the old and new to talk about processes and such. 
So with that, our thespian president for the 2020-2021 school year is Luke Foster. Our vice president for the 2020-2021 school year is Samantha Lambert. Our thespian secretary for the 2020-2021 school year is Abigail Cunningham. Uh, the thespian treasurer uh, for the 2020-2021 school year is Alicia Stowe. And then finally, our thespian historian was a tie again. Uh, our thespian historians for the 2020-2021 school year are Sierra Zink and Tavon Tain. So congratulations to you all. Um, we'll be in contact to kind of figure out what the next school year is gonna look like. Uh, sorry, I'm like looking at my son and looking at other stuff. Uh, all right, so we are going to celebrate the seniors next. So as you know, usually what happens um, at the end of our, uh, before we announce the um, next year's musicals, we all go to the stage and the seniors take their final bow on the stage. Uh, that was not able to happen this year for obvious reasons. Uh, I also te will read out and present the chords um, that moment. Again, that can't happen right now. So the uh, Thespian cabinet does not include the seniors. So specifically uh, this event that these following thing that's, that we're gonna be doing um, is spearheaded by Luke Foster, Tristan Little and, and um, Sierra Zink. Uh, they have a huge effort to make sure that we honor the seniors. Uh, so the first thing that we are doing um, is senior superlative. So we went through and the whole cast voted on our seniors to give them a superlative. Uh, so our friendliest senior um, by a vote of the class was Tia Thornton. Um, most likely to be an editor was Mia Saracola. Best smile was Fatima Bratado. Most likely to be on a reality TV show, Trinity High. <laughs> Most ambitious, Gabby Sims. Best dancer, Marquan Bandy. Best comebacks, Anna Mott. If you've never had a comeback from Anna Mott, you're missing out. Uh, spend 10 minutes in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to cancer, Carmen Javar. Quietest, Faith Lee. I would just like to point out that her mom was like, she's being shy right at the beginning of this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Best style, Adalia Diaz. Best hair, Joshua Walker. Best chest, Sam Chase. That's a costume he's wearing, by the way, sorry. Most likely to already be, sorry, typo, be working for the CIA, J.J. Williams. See, I have two. Mm. Most likely to ask parentheses weird on parentheses questions, Adrian Hepworth. <laughs> Most likely to win the lottery and lose the ticket, Noah Daniel. <laughs> I want you guys to know that he emailed me and he was like, if I get best facial expression, I'm a f the whole troop, hashtag Tourette's. <laughs> Just so you know, that was a thing. He didn't get best facial expressions though. Most likely the president, Jaden Brooks. What's fun is watching everybody like nod along as I announce these. <laughs> Most
most likely to laugh at the wrong time? Shayla Legs. <laughs> Best shoulder to cry on, Patience Kalu. That one was a landslide, by the way. Most likely to win a Pulitzer Prize winning play, Sully Sullivan. <clears throat> Gross. Most likely to be your director, Sydney Walker. So, but wait, there's more. Uh, first of all, all of those are going to be on a certificate that I will be delivering you later this week uh, so that you can commemorate forever what the seniors in Troop 2906 or the students in Troop 2906 your senior year thought of you. Also, um, one of the students reached out to me earlier this week to ask about senior brick. Yes, you will get to meet your senior brick. No, I don't know when. <laughs> so we, I will be in contact with you. Keep, um, keep an eye on your email. I'll actually reach out pretty soon and try to get and get your personal email so that I can continue to reach out to you about um, senior alumni or thespian alum stuff, including your thespian brick. I know that that's important to a lot of you, so we will figure out a way to make it happen. Um, we also have this uh, final surprise. uh that our lovely um sierra zinc created adrian i can't believe you're a senior i still keep forgetting you're a senior we weren't close when i first joined theater but um I feel like we got closer like this year especially um you're a really sweet person you're literally always like supportive to everyone you meet um you work really hard uh you're just great and i'm gonna miss you a lot hey faith just like i said with Jaden, um good luck with everything i love you i'm so glad that we were able to get close through student council and everything you're so funny um so yeah Noah, you were like the first person I ever got comfortable with and it's like exactly what I needed. You were really kind and caring and you listened to a bunch of email music and that was enough for me to like connect with you. You're really cool and I hope you keep making music. It all sounds really good and we're gonna miss you. Okay, so like you guys are all really cool. Uh, seeing you graduate really sucks. I love you all. Do good things because, like, you can. Uh, and I'm going to stop talking because I don't like crying. So. Josh. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot here. So, one thing I remember is when we kept doing our fight scene. The very, the very few times I didn't actually push you down, there was one time I poked you really hard in the chest and you fell, and I just thought it was the funniest thing because afterwards you were like, yeah, keep doing it like that, I'll just fall on the ground, I'll just, I just thought that was so funny, and then there was a time when you had me hold your hand while you are getting your hair French braided because you're so tender-headed, um, you know, the times I saw you at school instead of after school like during lunch and you'd give me a hug and I got to see your hair when it was very big and curly so that was fun. I'm really gonna miss you because you were always a very nice and sweet person to me and you were a great soul to be around. <laughs> that was stupid but I am gonna miss you very much. Sam! God that was embarrassing! Um, you know I love you, and I don't remember, remember, you remember when we got like super close, but I just remember that we just started talking a lot, and then we were, you know, we were in the same friend group, and I just remember going to Oceans of Fun with you all the time, and, and just, the summer was when we got like super close, and I'm really thankful for that, and for all the things you've done. And all the times you made me smile when you let us into your house um, for like 4th of July and everything like that. Your parents are so sweet. Your family's so sweet. I love 
your dogs and I love you and just thank you for being who you are. Thank you all so much for being the best senior class you could have been. I'm going to miss y'all so much and y'all are the reason why I'm going to be doing theater because I want to be the person who will inspire somebody to continue doing theater. So again, thank you so much. Shayla Legs, I met you right before the start of your sophomore year, I think it would have been. We were walking through the hallways with Haynes and Horton, and you were standing there uh, in the middle of the hallway, dressed up like some sort of anime character, and Haynes pointed at you, and he was like, do you know who this is? And I was like, nope. And he was like, this is Legs. And I was like looked you up and down your teeny short self and I was like that's not funny uh, he was like no really that's her name <laughs> Legs you are a character in every definition of the word um, I am very much going to miss your uh, crackhead energy I think is what you guys call it <laughs> I have so enjoyed this year in particular just the way that you would drive me nuts bursting into my classroom and changing things around and storing things in my room um, I have been extremely proud of the way that you've grown in particular yes you are hilarious yes you are fun uh, but your true strength this year has really been the willingness to try new things and to change. Uh, taking over as stage manager was not an easy decision, and you did it. You went for it, and you did a fantastic job. I'm really proud of you. Um, I'm really, really proud to, of all the growth you've made, and that you will continue to grow um, incredibly, and I really look forward to watching that journey. Jaden, I just want to start off by saying that I am extremely grateful for our friendship and all that you have done for me. You have been so loving and supportive since day one. You have always been there for me. I can always count on you to have my back no matter what. You are such an amazing person. And I just remember us during rehearsal one day when I had fell on you and we just literally sat before cracking up laughing for I don't know how long. That's probably one of the best memories that I have uh, with the both of us. But I'm going to miss you. Hey, JJ, I want to say I'm going to miss you and thank you for everything you have done. Thank you for coming to almost all the tech nights because um, literally without you and the couple of people that helped you, I don't think the sets would have been built because I, I didn't think I painted. That's mostly what I do. But um, one thing that I always remember is you either coming in there and you're saying, let me get the uh, speaker. Let me um, play my music because Zink's music is trash. I don't think I have that. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Bye. Hey patience, thanks for being the sweetest person that I have ever met. Every single time that I ever saw you, you were super sweet and super kind. And you inspired me to be with you. So I'm gonna miss you so much next year that every single time I walk in and see that you're not there, I'm just gonna like die a little inside. But good do good things. I just wanna say thank you for believing in me and for helping all of us like younger under underclassmen, helping us like get on our feet and helping us to kind of find out who we are and where we fit in the theater and just kind of where we fit in general. So thank you. Hey Silly, it's been fun getting to know you. I wish you luck in all that you do. And remember, we are always here to help in any way that we can. Good luck. Marquan, you can dance. <laughs> you a goofball. You're extremely um, I see you making it big one, one day and can't wait to see what you do. I've said this to a couple people, but you extremely can't wait to see what you do. And yeah, thank you for being here for, to listen to you. Thank you for being somebody to to, um, I would expect for mine to be wrong, but mine ain't gonna be wrong. I'm making it short because you see how I'm looking. So, bye. 
Sydney, from what I've seen, you're an amazing actress, and I love how you conform to your roles so well. I don't know you enough to compliment you on anything else, unfortunately. I enjoyed my year with you, though. what's happened i did something weird with my screen i think you unfull screened it oh no you just changed the orientation okay um so zinc went through and she made um videos for every um compiled from uh, interviews from everybody uh, to tell you that we love you and tell you what you mean to us. Unfortunately, it ended up being so um, huge an endeavor uh, that we couldn't fit it <laughs> into our uh, our own little uh, uh, award ceremony here. Um, so we love you, seniors. Um, we are proud of you. Uh, those of you that have um, multiple years in the program uh, do know that you will be getting your lifetime pass to the HS uh, So those are laminated passes that um, our wonderful Marian Raider makes for you so that you can come back and see any GHS theater show for free. Um, we love you. And we're sorry this is how it ended, but we hope that we can provide something special for you anyways. So uh, I also wanted to throw out, there was one um, superlative that was missed. It is an honorary superlative because both of these individuals already got one. Uh, best bromance goes to Marquan and uh, Joshua. <laughs> so let's do a big silent applause for our seniors. Um, all right, so we've got a couple awards that we are going mm -hmm. to announce. Um, yes, but before we do that, Tristan, where are you? Hello. Hey, uh, um, Tristan's got something. Um, you want to take it away? Where is she at? Sure. Hello. Oh, you, oh, now everyone sees me. Um, okay, so you guys know about... Uh, last year, our play we did was Harvey. Um, and a couple of the, uh, Mokler said the alumni could be here, but I don't believe there's any in the thing right now. Um, but we, you know how we sign something every year that was a part of the, uh, like a part of the set or something like that. So like we did the Corny Collins sign. Um, so sadly, um, I don't believe, I think it was, yeah, it was this school year the Harvey frame that we all signed broke and the glass shattered and all of the signatures were gone and everything like that. Um, so I had an idea and I talked with the cabinet and um, we had Horton go out and buy a new frame and we all went around to sign it. And so that's what Horton's getting right now. Mokler, Put it back on yourself so I can do this. Okay. So um, what I was all day today, what I was doing all day today was driving all around Grandview um, and meeting uh, the students. We had twenty-seven signatures and seven and uh, twelve more that total were not first friends either. <laughs> Like, like for Keenan Mitchell, who's in the Navy and not in the country, and some other folks who aren't in town right now or weren't able to get signed today. So um, we got a new frame, and we got them all signed again. Um, <laughs> for the for Harvey you, poster? For the Harvey poster, yes. Oh um, and there were a few that I wasn't sure we were going to get that we, that we did end up getting today. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Um, ten minutes before he left for work, yes. <laughs> and he was his election in July, which is what he said on his... Yeah, a lot of folks signed the exact same thing in the exact same spot. Um, 
it was really hard to replicate some handwriting, but I think uh, efforts were, yeah. So just, this is to let you know that you are, you are loved. And um, the uh, picture's still at the school and uh, we'll, we'll get that, we'll get that into the frame it's as soon plastic. as possible. And oh yes, that's the other thing. Tristan and I made sure that it was a plastic frame this time. So that way we don't have this mishap again. Um, so the same folks who signed it last year uh, have signed it again. We had to chase a few down, but we got it. Oh my so. God. Thank you. Mm. Thank you guys so much. This is beautiful. And this means a lot to me because I was so sad about that. She was so broken up about it. <laughs> so sad. It. We went to so many different stores trying to find the, the right frame. Oh my God. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, that Target run, it was hiding in the garage for the last two weeks. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> Is that even the color pen that you used? Yes. Yep. The, the picture is super dark, and yeah. so we wanted it to show up, so we didn't want to use, like, black sharpie. I had to buy, like, three different types of pens because I wasn't sure which one would work, and so Sydney right. Walker was the first one I saw this morning, so she was the guinea who got to get out, and we were the first try. <laughs> so um oh my god yeah thank you guys thank you so much oh that's really really sweet i'll tell you i'll tell you the stories about each one uh after afterwards um, oh my god so that's why today was when i said that today was the best day of quarantine that's that's why getting he was to, he was so happy he's like i can't tell everybody. you what i'm doing but i'm so happy <laughs> oh um so, okay. uh, I think, Anaya, uh, you want to get on and go ahead and uh, do what you just asked, what you just asked me? Nay, are you there? Guys, on three, we're all going to unmute and say, we love you, Mokler. Come on. One, two, three. We, we love you, Mokler. I love you guys so much. My brother said it too. You're welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. This has been, like, you guys are the reason that I work. You guys are the reason that I love. And I, when quarantine started, I was so, so, so grateful that we had finished our shows. But, like, the shows aren't even the important part. It's you guys. Like, you're the important part. And the incredible, thoughtful things that you guys have done for each other and me and for Mr. Horton, like, this is a truly special family, and I'm really, really grateful that I get to be a part of it. Oh, okay. All right. All right, that's enough. Oh, wait. See, it's like she has something. Oh, okay. Zink has something? Okay. Zink, take it away. Okay, so I sent Ian Mokler and Horton a video that some of the seniors made, and if you want to watch it in here, and but it's about a, it's appreciation video that they made. Let's do that. So I was going to say that after the awards, um, anybody who wanted to stick around can. Um, let's watch that after the awards are over. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. You guys are the best. You guys are amazing. Um, so can we end like the sappy emotional stuff? Are we done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems that? fair. Can we get back to the fun? I like the sappy emotional, but fine. Yes. It's like when Thomas Kirsten comes back at the second act of Hamilton. Right. <laughs> Samantha's like, yes! Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, anyway, so there are two more awards, and they, they are purely based on this event here right now. So uh, they are best Zoom background and best costume. So from the moment each of you got on, I was going through and uh, kind of like looking at, okay, so who's, who's got a costume on, who's got a new background on, how creative were you, how original were you, did you, you know, et cetera. And so um, as people were logging on, I was going through and checking their videos and just making sure. So, <clears throat> drum roll. Blur. The winner for best costume goes to Miss Sydney Taylor. Seven words, Sydney, um, go for it. Thank you. I love you, Sasha. <laughs> All right. And then the winner.
for the best background due to a combination of coordination, originality, and uh, uh, theme-ness. Drum roll, please. None other than Miss Sasha Sandoval Williams. Seven words, Sasha. Thank you. I am Frida Kahlo. <laughs> <laughs> did she, did you, I can't see, did you do the unibrow, Sasha? Yes, girl. Yes. Dang. That's awesome. Excellent. All right, that's all I got. All right, here we go. You guys ready to know the musical? Wait, wait, wait. I have to stop. All right, now say all that again. I can see you. Are you ready to know the musical? Samantha's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tristan is filming it. There is a video that will be posted. All of the videos from today for maybe this one will be put on all of our social media probably this evening um the musical video will definitely be posted today so are you really ready are you really 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 are you ready? all right so these were some of our favorite guesses uh mm -hmm. regarding the musical this was hilarious to read mm -hmm. hamilton was a fairly popular one Greatest Showman. Sorry, apparently I left the, the out. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob the Musical, which, by the way, is a musical. Hilarious. I advocated for it. Uh, Sister Act Two, Back in the Habit, which is not a musical. Y'all yeah, like no. But as a film, it was better than the original. We're not gonna debate that on this forum. Uh, and finally, Jaws the Musical, which, by the way, I learned is a real musical. <laughs> That was very entertaining. Uh, these were the uh, really popular guesses. These are the ones that had a lot of support behind them. A lot of people say, we think it's this, or we should do this. Um, so here are your hints for the musical, as we always do. So this musical was nominated for 11 11 Tonys in 1973, and then 10 more Tonys in 2013. Uh, it won nine of those Tony Awards total, so it is a very acclaimed musical. Uh, for reference, so that you understand like, how or how little like Tony Awards are, Sister Act was nominated for five, and it didn't win any. So this is like very, very acclaimed as far as musicals go. Um, although it's relevant to mention that Sister Act and the musical that we're doing share a very prominent actress in the soundtracks. Patina Miller. Uh, I did see this musical on Broadway in New York City, and I also saw it in Colorado. And if you ask me, I won't shut up about it because I love it. And due to a decision uh, made outside of our department, we almost decided to go in a different direction five days ago, and I had um, we had some serious to heart molds. Uh, but we ultimately decided that we were far too in love to change it, so. Um, can I just say that when you end up loving this musical, you're welcome. You're welcome. We also decided that we would in a unique way here, so uh, we have a, uh, I believe that the children, the, the, the kids these days, they call it a, 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 a... Kick messenger. No, 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 that's, that's not it. It's a, it's not a YouTube. It's the, it's a snap, snap chisel. Snap, mm, a, a t A clockety clock. A clock. It's a tweeter. No. A, a TikTok. A TikTok. TikTok, yeah, the Kesha song, because it's, because Kesha made the app, right? I don't know. I don't know. We made one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I can make it better because for whatever reason it autos to really low quality and I worked way too hard on this to have it be low quality. All right, here we go. 
You ready? doing Pippin. Uh, we are so excited about this. Uh, just some random fun facts about Pippin, uh, some reasons why we chose it. So Pippin is a conceptical, which means that it doesn't necessarily take place in like a single time or place. It's very metaphorical. It's very uh, bizarre and ethereal, kind of dreamlike. Uh, it takes place in 7 AD in the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, so it's about Charlemagne and his son Pippin, sort of. It's like this story framework with the setting just kind of ripped out and like the meanings totally shifted around. All of the facts and the history are completely made up, mostly. I mean, again, yeah. very bare bones. Yeah. So it is circus themed. So we are playing with, we're not going to do like white face, like, and big afro, like clowns. Um, we're, white face is a technical term, by the way, in the clowning industry. <laughs> uh, we're not going, we're going to go for more modern clown looks. So um, like very dancer-esque. Uh, it has amazing music. Horton has been singing it nonstop. It's pretty much since we chose it. I can't believe he didn't speed. Or... I'm really good at secrets. <laughs> it um, also has eight named roles, um, including historical characters and the players in the metaphorical circus. Uh, the we chose Pippin is because it has this fantastic, energetic players ensemble that kind of weaves through the whole story. They play different parts, so they play um, everything from Pippin's girlfriends to the circus characters to um, the soldiers during a battle and a war scene that takes place. So it's Pippin, and we are very, very excited about it. It has a mass, massive ensemble role. Um, and Tavon, to answer your question, no, it is not about Scotty Pippin. Freshman. 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 Um, so that um, is our, Fosse. oh, and it's Fosse. So if you don't know who in the world Fosse is, go look it up. Um, cause that, that is something theatrically speaking, you should know. Um, <clears throat> Samantha and Samantha's real dad, uh, asked, are there hobbits? There are not. No hobbits. There could be. Uh, Work on your acrobatics though this summer because there's lots of circusy types of things. That's all I Ready to damage my voice. <laughs> Sydney, no, you're not. You're gonna sing with good technique. Oh my lord. That's what he's for. Yeah. Uh so yeah, that is our theater awards. Let's do one, one last silent applause. We are, it is worth noting that we are doing the revival for those of you who are going to go out and look on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, the original cast recording, similar to other shows, has a lot of different stuff than the revival. So you're looking for the 2013 revival. Um, that is the version that we are doing. The, you'll notice a big difference in the music quality as well because it's, it's 40 years later than the original. Um, I'll, I'll uh, approve a couple of versions of it on YouTube so that you guys can watch and kind of get familiar uh, for now with the summer because I know a bunch of you like doing that and, you know, preparation. So that's our awards. Um, we uh, I encourage you to hang out if you want to. Uh, we can start unmuting and chat a little bit. You guys can ask us questions if you have any. If you've got to go, you're welcome to go. 
Um, one of us might disappear in a minute because it is definitely past my son's bedtime. Um, and probably in the next 15 minutes or so, we will watch the uh, videos that Zoom made. Um, Tristan says she has a question. 